Is the lens open? Mm-hmm. Because <laughs> I always forget. Okay, so planting some, since we've finally got some nice weather, planting some plants. See how I do up here? This is my first year. So we went to an estate sale a while back, and Jan found these. Um, they came like this. They had petunias and impatience. And there was some with tomatoes, but we didn't get those. They're made in Canada. And they are a big plastic, I guess, garden grow pouch. This is what it looks like. And it has easy instructions on the back, which is very helpful. <laughs> so I just did up one so far just to see how it was going. And I put some petunias in it. And this is kind of what it looks like. It's filled with potting soil. has little holes in it where you put anywhere from three to four seeds in there. You're supposed to lay it flat for a few days. And then once it starts sprouting, you can hang it up. And then you're supposed to have full blooms. So we'll see how that goes. Um, everybody knows what these little jiffy start things are, the little pods. So... What I started in there was some spaghetti squash, um, some green peppers, bell peppers. And uh, this pack of uh, seeds we got from uh, Baker Creek, they are tomato, black, verna, sage, I can't say it, but they're odd looking tomatoes. I've never seen these before. I can't remember ever seeing them. They're red with like black stripes on them. So we're going to see how that goes. And then stopped at Walmart, picked something up. I think it was out there getting potting soil or something like that. And they had uh, big boy tomato plants for $1.50. So I grabbed a couple of those. We're going to put them in pots. Because like I said, we haven't really established a garden out here yet. So put them in pots. We can move them with their... They do better here or better there. Because uh, we do like fried green tomatoes. So, just planting stuff that I know that we will eat. And once we, as we get along with the homestead and we have a garden area, proper garden area with some raised beds, we'll go into more. Because in the past, even in New Mexico, I was able to grow summer squash, zucchini, uh, tomatoes, watermelons, broccoli. Um, and corn one year so and it was a desert but as long as you water it you grow just about anything out there so we'll see how this goes and we'll keep you guys up to date bye bye